Hello everyone, it's Sunday night and I hope you've all had a fantastic weekend. Um, it wasn't too bad, was it? It cooled down a little bit. I hope wherever you are that it cooled down for you too because we had a couple of very hot days last week, but this weekend was pretty good. How has everyone been? If you get, did you get any crafting time? That's what I'd like to know. And if you didn't, maybe this is it. <laughs> maybe this is your crafting time. So the whole idea of every Sunday night, my name's Linda Dolby. I'm in Australia um, and I love to share my love of crafting with you. And something really powerful happens when women get together and craft. Um, and that's even online. A few people have said to me, you know, you can't get that same camaraderie as, you know, getting together in person. And that's partly true. That is something magic. But when that's when that's not your reality when we've got that's not what we've got we've got this and i hope that this is as much fun for you guys as it is for me because i really really enjoy my sunday nights with you so let's see who we've got we've got a good crowd here already so welcome everybody hi margaret i see you were here nice and early and then we have suzanne hello suzanne how are you suzanne i've forgotten where you are are you in queensland i forget i can't remember Hey Deb, nice to see you. Hope you had a lovely day. Uh, who else? We have Margaret Griffith here as well. Hello. And Shirley from the Hunter Valley. Hey Solvega. Hi Chris. Chris is in Melbourne. Solvega's here on the Central Coast, not far from me. Cindy's in, in South Australia. Cindy, are you actually in Adelaide or are you outside Adelaide? We're about to see you. I love seeing where everybody's from. <laughs> it's one of my, my little things I love to do when we first go live. So I see we have lots of people. Janine is here. Rose is here. Glenda's here. Now it says Daryl Smith. Is that actually Daryl or do we have someone else using Daryl's sign in? Hey, Narelle, nice to see you. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> From the South Coast. Hi, Sunny. How's everything been with you? We haven't spoken in a while. Hope everything's good with you and your, um, with, uh, you and your family up there. Patricia, Katrina. Oh, it is Daryl. Well, there you go. Hi, welcome. I will stop saying ladies because I think I may have said ladies earlier. My son, my son is talking at me through the window. He's out in the yard. So um, <laughs> I'll just ignore him now for a bit. That might be a good idea. You're editing for the tennis. You're waiting for the tennis to start, Vicky. I know, right? I've got to compete with that tonight. So for those of you who love to watch tennis, you're excused. I understand it's pretty exciting when we have a great tennis match on. Okay, all right. Let's switch over to the desk and get started. I don't like to keep you waiting too long, but I do love to say hello to everybody. In the Barossa Valley, I think I knew that. I think I did know that. You know, when I was um, younger, I may have said, may have told this story before. I was an exchange student when I finished high school. And... Um, one of the girls that I travelled to South Korea with, um, her name was Susan, and she um, she came with us to um, to South Korea, and she was from the Barossa Valley, uh, Nuriopa, I think was the place she came from. Have I said that right? I hope I have. You're in the Northern Rivers area, Daryl. Well, welcome. Really lovely to have you with us. All right, everybody. Oh, and Sheila's in Christchurch. Sheila, I don't remember seeing you on here before. Welcome. It's lovely to have some newbies here tonight. Hey Joan, how are you? <laughs> All right, let me switch over to the other phone, to the other, um, the audio source, which is my phone sitting up here, and let's see how we go. All right. Oh, it's a little bit crooked. Don't like crooked. Let's get that nice and straight. And it looks a little bit fuzzy. Would you agree we're a little bit fuzzy tonight? So I may need, oh, <laughs> Just close your eyes for a second. I'm going to use my cleaning cloth to um, to give that camera a wipe because it looks very fuzzy to me. Sorry to do this to you. Close your eyes, guys. Is that better? That's better. Yeah, just a fuzzy camera. So, uh, so there we go. All right. So we are still going along with celebration. We, uh, month one is nearly over. Um, that is how you pronounce it. Oh, there you go. Well, her, her name was, I think her surname was Bright. It was Bite or Bright? I think it was Bright. And, um, yeah, she was she was a lot of fun. We had lots of fun together. The, there was five of us that travelled from Australia that year. And, uh, and yeah, it was pretty cool, actually. Two lives in a row, Wendy. Woohoo, you're doing well. <laughs> oh, he's on a boys' weekend. What are they doing? Fishing? 
a fishing, golfing? What do they do on a boys' weekend or should we not ask? That's not our business. <laughs> All right, that's better. Good, Glenda. Thank you. All right, so second month of celebration. So we've only got a month left of these items. So if there is anything in here that you really love, you've got a little bit of time still to get it. At the moment in Australia, we don't have anything that I'm aware of that's out of stock unless it's gone out this afternoon. But as of yesterday, everything was still was still there. So, um, so yeah, it's got some, we've got some great fun things on Sunday. On Friday night, we played with um, we used this paper and the stippled rose bundle. Some of you might remember. But tonight, I thought we'd do something out of here, um, something I haven't played with very much. Uh, let me just move a couple of things around. Um, and it's on page thirty-seven. So it's the ice cream swirl bundle, which is also what's here on the cover. So I have not played with this nearly as much as I would have liked to and do you know what sometimes i buy sets like the perennial lavender set because i know my customers are going to love that just know it and then sometimes i just buy a set because it looks fun and this is uh, this is definitely this one it just looks like it would be fun to play with so uh, oh then motorbike riding to victoria like a road trip how cool that's lovely oh that's what he likes yeah well it's i actually i think it's a long time to sit on a bike I know that I've done a couple of rides with my husband, but only short ones just around the local area. And <laughs> you get really sore sitting in that one position for a, a long time. So, uh, yeah, good luck to them on a big road trip. All right. So um, we have got um, this set here and it's made up of this. It's a bundle. You can buy them separately, of course, but it is a bundle. The ice cream swirl stamp set, which has got, you know. Now, here's an interesting thing. You might notice... Oh, let's pull out the let's pull out the dies as well. Okay, let's look at both. All right, so here we've got this one here, and I've actually gone ahead and cut that before we started. All right, I'm not very I'm not very prepared because I still don't know for sure what I'm going to do. But I've got a couple of ideas of things that I do want to do. This one thing I thought that would work really really well with this set because this works that it folds it in half and scores it, so you can actually score it like this and fold it over and I was thinking these would be fun for like little kids invitations or something like that to a birthday party okay and then you've got the ice cream the actual swirl this cuts out the the swirly shape Hang on, let's put it around the right way puts cuts out that swirly shape like that okay um, but it also just cuts out a shape of an ice cream that you could put on top and everyone will be very happy to see that I've got my ice cream facing the right way today remember last time I did it around the wrong way <laughs> whoops oh well good evening Moira and Kay <laughs> nice to see you guys all right so um there is some other things you can do with this though I noticed um they've they've always got some good hints of some things that you can do in the samples in the catalog so it's always worth checking if you're not sure what to do with the set look at the catalog because there'll always be some ideas and there's two places that you're going to find it okay so this is the ice cream swirl bundle page 37 and we've got you know a couple of samples this one has actually been done like a little opening it actually they've got it as a side opening which you would do by having it on a fold um, and then they've used this one they didn't use the ice cream they actually used the part of this and chopped it off here and made a bowl of you know fruit and so they've got apples or are they cherries they're cherries and strawberries and they've also got donuts so it's a balanced diet right we've got fruit and donuts um everything in there together but the cool thing is that you can actually you know make this into a card in its own right but you can do other things with it too and see up here this little this little bit of paper they've got wrapped around the cone that's this one here which they've cut out of some paper, some designer series paper, and they've actually put that because that actually does match up with the shape of the cone. So you can use it as like a little bit of a, um, a paper around the cone. But you can also, if you want to, make cupcakes. So this could be the base of the cupcake and this is the top of the cupcake. Can you see that? So there's lots of different things you can do with this if you get your imagination going. You really can... You know do and you can turn these could be tags we could do all sorts of fun things with them so there's a it, there's a lot of different ideas that you can do with this and you can use last time i did it i just used i didn't do the stamping i just used this in two different colors so i think i had the lighter piece from memory 
I had the lighter piece underneath the light pink and then the darker pink on top for the swirl. And that looks really cool as well. So you can just use the dyes to create ice creams and cupcakes and things like that. So lots of fun ideas that you can do with this. So, you know, sort of if you have a little think about different ideas that you could do, you probably find there's a lot more than what you can see here. Now, I did say there are two places whenever you want to look at samples. This is one place. Okay, and the other place is up the back because all the bundles are kept in alphabetical order together. Okay, so here I'm just taking these out. This is this was left over from when I we did our um, our team catalog walk, walk through, and I had put um, post-it notes on who was going to present each one. <laughs> so that's what those post-it notes are doing there. But see, here's another sample here. So you've got what's here but you've also got what's on the page where the stamp set and the bundle is, okay? And in this case, we've also got the cover, all right, because we've got this one here on the cover and they've used that hybrid embossing folder with the thoughtful thoughtful moments, I think. Is that what it's called? Thoughtful moments. Let me check. I'm going to look it up at the back. It's a hybrid embossing folder. So, um, yeah, thoughtful moments, and that's on page 18. So the good thing is it's really easy to find them in the index. It's these guys here. And I had I did do a video a couple of, a few weeks ago, maybe two or three, that I used the brayer over uh, over these, and I thought it looked really fun because it cuts out and embosses at the same time. This one does the same thing. These are what they call hybrid embossing folders. They cut and emboss together, so that's kind of fun. You can see the dies, and it's, it's actually clipped into the embossing folder. In this, it's a good little picture there to show you. All right, so that's what that's all about, and that's where that celebrate came from. Right, so something definitely worth looking at. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to pull a couple of things out. I've already got this guy here, as I just mentioned. Tonight I thought I'd bring my mini cut and emboss machine in so I'm not, uh, it's just easier to move around. So I'm going to do that. I haven't even looked to see if we've still got the blue mini cut and emboss machine in the online store. We did have it, I know that. He looked through the mini and said, no, I don't want anything. Nothing at all. Now you want so many things. I know. That is how it works, Cherie. Um, these videos, I, I'll be really honest with you and tell you, these videos should come with a warning <laughs> um, because there is a good chance if you watch people use stuff and see all the fantastic things you can do with it, you might actually want to buy something that before you didn't think you wanted. So, yeah, they, they, they do need to come with a warning. All right, so this this little machine is like the big one, just just smaller, okay, much lighter. And you've got, it tells you the order of what we want to use. This is our base plate. Then I've got number two, which is um, the first clear plate, and I'm going to pop that in there. Then I'm going to pop in what I want to cut or emboss. In this case, we're going to kind of semi, this is, this is one of the dies, and this kind of does cutting and embossing so the lines here are going to emboss into it um, but some of these are going to partially cut so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up let me just do this I'm going to line this up on my ice cream cone and I'm going to be doing mine tonight I thought you know in pinks and greens it's kind of I guess they're kind of girly colors but um, you know there's nothing to say you you know boys like ice cream too right all right, so I'm going to push this through and just wind it. And what this is going to do, it's going to imprint that design onto the cone. So I haven't decided whether I'm going to make a like a tag, like a little mini invite, or whether part of me thinking, see how see how that's worked now? It's actually partially cut part of this. I really like it. I think it's really clever. So now it really does look like a cone. The colour I'm using for this, by the way, is pecan pie because I think it's, that's the closest colour to a waffle cone. What don't you think? All right, so I'm actually going to bring, I've decided, I've just changed my mind. I'm not going, I'm going to do this on a card um, and I'm going to cut this right on that score line. So I just pop that right there in my trimmer, cut off the top. I can use the second one if I want to. Maybe I will, I don't know. All right, so we've got our, our pecan pie waffle cone. Rum and raisin, please, or lemon lime twist. Well, you're in luck, Jodie. You're going to be very happy because before I started, I made the decision I wanted to use a nice bright green for my base 
And so I use the Dots and Spots die, which is in our annual catalogue. That's this one. I'm sure quite a lot of you have this one. This one. Okay, it does just cut lots of dots. And you can see the colour that I cut. Look, Jody, look. So um, this, is, this is Lemon Lime Twist, which is one of our brights. And I thought that would be a fun background for our... And I've just got a standard card front size piece. I'm just going to push out some of these dots that didn't pop out earlier. You could save those and use them for like um, a shaker card or confetti or something. You could, you know, lots of makes lots of little dots. All right. So this is going to go on here. Okay. Now the question is: Are we going to stamp and color our ice cream, or are we just going to die cut it? What do you guys think? I knew you'd be happy. I knew you'd like that. Oh, you know what? Rum and Raisin isn't my favourite because I'm not a big rum fan. Sorry, guys. My husband is. He loves it. He bought a bottle recently and in a beautiful, it was in a box. It was because it came from Aldi, but it was in a box with a, with a beautiful bottle inside. And it looks really cool. Like it should be great, but I just don't like it very much. I wouldn't have made a very good pirate. Die cut. All right. The die cut is the popular one tonight. So that's what we'll do. I'm going to come back to my cutting plates again and I've got my top plate. Now I'll just need to cut this down a little bit because it, it can't be wider than nine centimeters okay to go through the small machine so that's something to bear in mind and this is a 10 centimeter wide piece so I just need to take a tiny piece off it. Nine centimeters or three and a half inches if you're wondering how much that is in inches. And that's what you need. See how it's just, just the right width to go through. Okay. So I'm having a think about, I think I'll cut the base in. I'm going with, um, this is bubble bath, so a light pink. And the secret of these is to offset your plates a little bit when you put them through and it will take it through much, much better. It, it winds through. Just don't try and put the plates evenly through. Off, offset them a little bit. You decided on two bundles, Sheree, out of the embossing folders. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> it's tricky, isn't it? All right, so now we have our, what would this be? Would this be strawberry swirl? Is that what we're having? Strawberry swirl? I'm thinking that would looks rather good. And then... Uh, this is this is in a darker color. So I'm wondering, what do you think? Is flirty flamingo flirty flamingo would look good? Let's try that. Even though it's a salmony pink, it, in this case, I think it looks rather nice. And I need to cut this to be uh, nine centimeters or less. So just gonna do that. All right. So I've got my my ice cream here. Now I'm going to be cutting the swirl. So let's put plate number one on, plate number two, our Bloody Flamingo cardstock, and the next plate, the second plate too. Let's put this through. All right, let's have a little look. So here I have a question for you guys tonight while we're all chatting and talking here. My question is, how long have you been paper crafting? And let's see if we can find the person who's been paper crafting the longest. It's probably not going to be me. I started when my daughter was uh, about a year old and she's 21. So 20 years I've been paper crafting, just over, 21 and a half, I guess. All right, so this is going to go on top of here like so. And doesn't it look nice, the, the swirl on, on the ice cream? I really like it. <laughs> yes, well, uh, the words, okay, let's be honest here. So you've been crafting longer than me, Margaret, paper crafting. I mean, we've probably all been crafting all our lives, but um, paper crafting specifically. Too long to remember, says Vicky. <laughs> right, Margaret's the winner so far. 
30 years. Oh, Glenda. Glenda, you're the winner so far. All right. So I can put this on flat or I can put it up on dimensionals. But because we've got these little thin bits, I think I will put it on flat. Um, and I'm just going to use some Tombow for that. Let's see if I can get it out. I need to get some new Tombows. I've got a whole bunch of like about four Tombows that are down to their last little bit. And if I can't get this one to come out, I'm going to grab another one. And that one's going in the bin so I don't get them confused anymore. I just seem to be running out of Tombow lately. I don't know why. I'm using it all the time, I guess. All right. Our weekend. Here's a new one. <laughs> all right. So, brand new. Let's just take the packaging off. And that's going to be much better. Look at that. No waiting for it to come out now. So just going to pop pop a little bit of Tombow on that. Oh, oh, got to put it on the right way. All right, so I'm just kind of lining it up so there's a little bit of a gap all the way around. Now the die cutting is the quicker way to go because you don't have to colour and, you know, all that kind of stuff. If I was going to colour, um, I think watercolour pencils are a really good thing for this because it gives you that kind of um, pastel-y sorbet kind of a look to it. Um, and in fact, at some point, one of my Technic Tuesday classes is probably going to be a watercolouring class. We'll do that coming up for someday soon. Does anyone, anyone particularly like watercolor pencils or would like to get to know them better i'm going to fold this over and i'm going to use a bone folder this is my All right so this is how this is going to end up looking it's going to go onto my white card base this is going to go i'm thinking do i want it straight or on an angle because i'm not a big fan of things on angles but i i don't mind an item being on an angle but I'm not keen on it being uh, I don't like words on an angle that's just a personal thing so even if I was to put this on an angle which I think looks fine I probably still have my words straight <laughs> if that makes sense you love watercoloring I know and there's so many different ways water painters watercolor pencils um, using your reinkers all kinds of ways to get a <laughs> you made a mother's day card for your mum when you're in kindergarten you win <laughs> Oh, you guys, so funny. All right, on an angle, says Jody. Okay, that sounds good. You've been paper crafting all your life. i tell you what, when I was growing up with my mum, we moved when I was about 10. Um, my mum always did a few arts and crafts, but when I was about 10, um, I was 10, my parents moved to country New South Wales. Um, and for anyone who doesn't know, country New South Wales on a farm, a million miles, well, it wasn't a million miles from anywhere, but it was a long way from most places. Um, and, you know, our closest towns um, were not very big towns and didn't have a lot of things. And my mum was um, used to have a very good friend that was um, that liked to sew and she would go over to this lady's house and, and they'd have sewing days and us kids would all play together. Well, as time went by... Um, they got into other crafts as well, okay. And my mum used to order, we used to order stuff and it would arrive because there wasn't, you know, any craft shops in the local town. So it would arrive in the mail. It was so exciting. Oh, my goodness. In particular, wait for it, for anyone who can join me on this one, we went through a hobby techs phase. Does anyone remember hobby techs? Um, hobby techs is like um, very fancy paints that were in tubes and you colored um on special kind of I, I didn't even know what the fabric was it was like a almost like a felt but like a hard thin felt that you colored on um does anyone remember hobby techs and then there was artex which was the same thing 
you still have some K, do you? <laughs> but, okay, we've, we've discussed um, paper crafting, but what about stamping specifically? Because I reckon I could give most of you a run for your money with that because when I was growing up, and I think I've told this story before, we used to, um, we, if it was a rainy day, my mum would bring out the stamp box and we had, she had this big box of sliding drawers of stamps. I don't even know where they came from. They were rubber stamps. They were very, some of them were very good. They weren't good quality stamps like what we have now, okay, but I loved them and I was only allowed to do the have the stamps in the stamp box I was only allowed to have those when it was raining it was a rainy day activity and if I looked out the window and it was raining I was so excited because it meant that we could get out the stamp box um so I've been stamping like that since I was about I, I don't actually know how old I was to be honest but really young really young when I started stamping um but it was not doing anything with the stamps specifically it was just stamping um and you know stamping all over pieces of paper making our own wrapping paper i remember doing that <laughs> but i don't remember i don't remember making cards you did hobby text too yeah oh my mum for years had some of my hobby text creations framed and up on the wall and she used to do them with me and it was just such a such a fun thing and we did crochet and we did yeah we did lots of things actually all right so we have we have our ice cream and it's coming together pretty easy i like the lemon lime twist background this is jody's favorite color this do you prefer they're very similar aren't they parakeet party and uh lemon lime twist are really similar there's a little bit of a uh, bit of adhesive here and i just need to get that off just let me just there we go better all right now if i wanted to I could cut some, and it would go over this waffle a little bit, but we could cut one of these to, to go around the bottom. And if we did, I was thinking, I wonder if anything in this paper pack would, so I only opened this paper pack tonight just before I went live. Um, and it does have a couple of the colors we're using. It doesn't have Floody Flamingo, but it does have Bubble Bath. Um, so, and it has pool party as well, although I haven't got any pool party on here now, but we could add pool party. In fact, we might add pool party, but let's have a look at some of the pieces. So that's balmy blue. It has balmy blue and pool party both. And there's, I think four sheets, no, eight sheets of each. All right. So these are really nice. These remind me of ice cream, these and sorbet and that kind of thing, because they're really pretty colors. That's a petal pink. And on the back of that one, you've got like little, see, that would that would go quite well. That would match. Uh, this one we have, that's Pool Party with little white daisies. And on the other side of that, we have Fresh Freesia, like little, like a little scallop design. This is kind of cute. Then we have Bubble Bath, which is the same color as our underpiece here with like, I was going to say zigzags, but they're not. They're more like little arrows, aren't they? This paper is beautiful. This is part of the, oh, what's the name of the paper? I better look it up because I can't remember. Somebody will. It's the one with the hot air balloons. And I really, really, really like it, this one. It's called Lighter Than Air. That's what it is. The paper is Lighter Than Air 6x6 six six paper. This is it here. You can see it. And I love that it's got all like little candy stripes and stuff. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, candy stripes right now, When if you look at um, fashion and colour trends, candy stripes are in right now. There's a whole bunch of funny things that are in. Chevrons, there you go, that's what it is. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> um, and then there's also these that are matching, so you can see all the colours that are in here. We've got, um, these are the rainbow adhesive back dots. Look how nice they are. Aren't they cute? I love these. So this is um, actually, is that Floody Flamingo? It is Floody Flamingo. So that is the color that I have just used on my card. So they might be perfect on my card. Pool Party. Um, what else have we got? I'm just trying to think what this is. That's Lemon Lolly. This is As Your Afternoon, Bubble Bath, Lost No, Balmy Blue, and Fresh Freesia. What is this color? Is that, just looking at my... Huh, that's petal pink. That's what that is. It's petal pink. It was too light to be um, 
you know, too light to be pumpkin pie or anything like that. So there you go. It is nice bling. It's not shiny. It's like they're matte dots. But I love the colours. Don't they look good? So that's what these are. They're rainbow adhesive back dots. I don't have the hot air balloon set. And really the reason I don't have it is because every time they bring out a hot air balloon set, I buy it. Um, I have had so many hot air balloon sets. I mean, I've moved them on. I don't have them anymore. But I love a good hot air balloon set. I'm trying to resist it because... <laughs> Because I don't need it, right? But I really like you know, the way the set comes together. And you can also cut some of the bits and pieces out of the paper with um, some of the dies. So what else have we got here? This is the chevrons, like you said. And on the back of that, you've got lemon lolly stripes. Yep, that's what that is. And then we've got petal pink clouds. That's super cute. And on the back of that, we've got dots. I mean, who doesn't love dots? That's gorgeous. Love those. Those would look nice here on my card too. That would also go. And this is really nice with the little candy stripes. And on the back of that, we've got our hot air balloons. And this, these do match up with the dies in the stamp set. So if you love hot air balloons and you like this kind of paper, this might be a good set for you. You might be, this might be a good one to have. But I could do stripies if I want to have. So do we want to leave the cone just the way it is as a waffle can cone? Or are we going to use some paper? and put a little bit of a paper wrapping around it. What do you think? Yes, there was a stamp shop at Adamstown. I remember that, Shirley. I remember that. It was a scrapbooking kind of place. We used to have one down here at um, Erina too. There was um, a scrapbooking shop down here that was really popular, but they ended up, they closed. Ah, there you go. <laughs> yes, I remember making paper mache creations with um, paste made from flour and water, Leslie. Flour and water was, was perfectly acceptable glue. That's a really good idea, Cherie, and that's kind of where that's kind of why I bought the paper. So if I am not sure whether I want something or I'm trying to economise, um, I will sometimes just buy the paper and cut it out by hand. Um, if I really can't help it and I absolutely see I'm going to be using it a ton, then I would go ahead and buy the suite. But um, but sometimes in an effort to try and save a little bit of money, like we all do, um, sometimes I'll economise and just buy the paper and maybe some bling like I did in this case. So, um, yeah. So there we go. That's what's happening here with this set. Now, did we decide white then a message on it? Well, yes, we could put the message actually on here. I was thinking about putting my greeting across here. So, and we've got some nice greetings in this set, actually, that would make that would work quite well, like um, hope your day is sweet. I think that works really, really well. There's a thanks, and you can have for everything maybe inside. Um, there's a make a wish. It's a really cute little set. Oh, how did I do that? Susan, Suzanne, I'm sorry. I somehow highlighted your comment. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, people are saying leave it. You got sucked into the hot air balloons. I know. I am so tempted, Sharon. But I'm. Uh, there is also. I don't know if she's watching tonight, but I have a uh, a very good friend who has them, and I thought at some point that we might see if we can do a switch. She might. I might have something she doesn't have. Yeah, probably a banner. That's what I was thinking too, Jody. That's what I'm thinking. 3D flowers. Oh, yes, with florist wire. And and that, that what do you call it, That those, the florist, um, the bricks, the green bricks that you stick the, the wire into. What do you call that? Florist something. Florist, I forget. But anyway, somebody's going to know. You guys always know. All right, dotty paper. So some people are saying paper and some people are saying leave. I'm just going back to see who the first person was. Hey, Robin, nice to see you there. You still got one of your hobby text paintings on the wall, Lani. <laughs> yeah. So you get attached to them. Um, okay, Vicky was the first person. She said leave. All right, I'm going to leave it, but I'm going to use it. I'm going to get a banner. Um, and you know what? We could even cut our banner out of, we can do it in white, or we could do it, we could do it with, um, like I could do it on this pink chevron paper, maybe. There was a couple of bubble bath papers, wasn't there? So, but you know, I could I could stamp it on here, which would look probably quite nice. So, shall we give that a try? Shall we do that? Um, let's have a little look. I'm going to cut this. 
I'm going to cut this in half at the three, three, three inch mark. This is a six by six paper, so three inches is your halfway mark. Yes, I know it's inches, but that's because the paper's in inches. All right, now I'm going to grab one of my favourite, favourite um, sweets at the moment, which is the Thoughtful Expressions dies. I've been using these a lot because they've got some really cool banners in them. And I really like them. That's these ones. They're starting to fall off the backing because I'm using them so much. They've got all these lovely nested shapes. So I was thinking this one here might be really good. I need to double check that it's going to fit. But I think I want to have the words, hope your day is sweet. So let's pull in some white paper. Actually, no, do I want to do it on here? Let's see how it looks. And I think I'll use Floaty Flamingo because that's like the darker pink. That might look good. Let's see if it works. And if it doesn't, we can we can change our minds. Florist phone. Thank you, Donna. I knew somebody would know. There you go. All right, so let's put Hope Your Day is Sweet because that is a really appropriate, appropriate greeting. Let's pop that. And also we could, if we want to, and it would be nice, we could stamp ourselves a strawberry and put a strawberry on top of our ice cream. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Because, you know, everybody needs strawberries on top of their ice creams because that makes them healthy. Isn't that how it works? If we put a strawberry on top or a cherry or something like that. <laughs> All right, let's see if this will work. I mean, if it doesn't, it might be not dark enough, but I'll see. Hmm, what do you think? Is it dark enough? I think the salmon colour is looking good because it's going to pull in the um, the swirl on the ice cream. So let's see if this one is big enough. Oh, it is. Look at that. It's the perfect size, actually. So let me grab my cut and emboss machine again, get my platform. So one and two, then my... Just gonna put this on top of here, and I'm trying. Actually, it'll be easier if I line it up this way. And that's about right. That looks good. And I'm going to put my top plate on. And wheel the whole thing through. Oh, Fimo and jewellery, you know what? Um, I never did. I really wanted to, but that was, uh, you know, <laughs> we had to be a little bit careful budget-wise and that was, uh, it didn't extend to Fimo. So um, that was a bit sad. All right, so this is going to go on here. Hope your day is sweet, like so. And I think that needs to be up on dimensionals, definitely. Um, I've got one dimensional left on here. But that's okay. I'll just use a bit of the edge because that's what we do when we run out of dimensionals on our sheet, right? You never have to worry about running out if you can use the edge bits. All right, let's pop that across the bottom here. Yep, that's about right. Now I feel like something's missing. Um, I am wondering, hmm, I am wondering if I was to use, the only thing is there's no pool party anywhere else. So I wonder if I should have put the whole thing on a pool party card base. That might have been nice. This is the pool party um, celebration ribbon. And if you're wondering what celebration is, you've heard me mention it a couple of times. Celebration is a special promotion that we run every January and Thursday and <laughs> January and Thursday, <laughs> January and February. Um, and what it is, every time you spend $90 in the online store, which I will at the end of this video pop the, the link to, um, so you can go find it if there's anything you'd like to purchase. Um, every $90 you spend, you get to buy or you get to pick something for free 
out of the online store. So that might have been nice. All sprinkles on top. The sprinkles are good. Um, we can actually make sprinkles with the dies. See, these little guys here. But then that's a little bit of work to put them on. We could do that. We certainly could do that. Um, there are also sprinkles here that you can stamp on. And there's also a straw that you can add if you wanted to. But I haven't really left uh, room for the straw. So I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. The secret to getting this ribbon to look good, because it's the Pool Party Crinkle Ribbon, if, if you make the loops quite small you can actually add it to a card and it looks great i originally didn't think this this I, I love the ribbon but i originally didn't think it would be very good for tying a bow or adding a bow to a card but i've changed my mind i think it does look good um the only thing is if you're going to add a bow like this you probably you might think twice about pop popping it in the post because it's a bit thick so what do you think do we like that i think we need to add a strawberry too so let's do that. We can decide whether or not that ribbon is too much. Um, so I've got a strawberry here. Let me grab a small block. We'll go with B. And I'm thinking appropriately a colour that we might want to use for this would be sweet sorbet. Don't you think that's the right colour? Definitely the right colour name. Um, but... I'm thinking maybe I will cut, um, no, the green isn't right. Oh, let me have a think. I want a darker colour to stamp this, but I don't want to stamp it in black. So I'm deciding the leaves are going to be what colour? See, old olive is not right. That would look wrong, very, very wrong. Um... I mean, we could start to, I mean, we could add in Pretty Peacock, which is probably going to go better, but it's not right. What do you guys think? Garden Green Shaded Spruce. I pulled both of those out. Look, see, I've got them here right now. Garden Green is probably what I would normally think of or Shaded Spruce for a strawberry. I think that would work, but I'm not sure about on this card. Maybe with the tiny, tiny bit that I'm going to be adding, because I'm going to color it in shade and I'm going to color it in sweet sorbet. So it would only be the outline. So it's not going to, no bows, please, Monique. Monique says no bows. She's offended by the bow. Well, I did think about changing the white because I'm not sure that it really, to maybe a pool party base. So, you know, if we were doing this on pool party and then we had the ribbon, I think that would look better. Don't you? A green green. I agree. What about what about Granny Apple Green? What about that? We're getting closer now, maybe. Let's try it. And we can always we can always change it. Um hmm, interesting. All right, let me grab I'm just gonna grab a scrap here and So that might work because the granny apple green doesn't doesn't clash with the lemon lime twist. So greens are one of those things not dark enough. Huh. Yeah, I think I'm going to try it because I'm going to colour it with um, sweet sorbet and we'll see how that goes, right? Um, that might darken it up enough for it to look like it's um, it works with these colours. So I am currently looking for a water painter and I'm going to, that's got a bit of red in it already, as you can see, left over from something else, but that's okay. We'll, we'll fix that. All right. So I'm going to just use a small block, just, just a block and I'm going to dip it dip it into my ink pad and I picked up some ink on there and then I'm going to come in here with my water painter and pick up some colour and let's just see what we can do with this. This might not work but we won't know until we try. I'm using the tip of my water painter. I probably should have left a little bit of white but that's okay. 
bit of darker color over here. Okay, it's looking like that right now. And then I feel like maybe let's try. I've got some dark parakeet party and that might be okay for the leaves. I wouldn't normally think it was dark enough, but I, I want to kind of tone in with the rest of the colouring. I think that works. What do you guys think? All right, let me grab my strawberry dye, which is going to work really well. And then let's grab our machine again. I'll close up this so I don't stick my, because I do not want to stick my fingers in my sweet sorbet ink pad that would be very very bad right so we have number one number two put my strawberry in and line it up and then the last the second number two And roll the whole thing through. I'm trying to work out what. So she. Oh, so she used a. You can do that. If you have. Um, you could. I understand what she did. Yeah. So. Because the white pad comes uninked. So actually, if you don't want to add white into it, you don't have to. It does not have to be white. You have to be careful with your labeling. Make sure your um, your the outside says that it's black. Otherwise, you're going to get a surprise every time you go, go to use your white ink, right? <laughs> and go, whoops, didn't mean, to, didn't mean to do that. All right, so I'm thinking like a little... And I'm wondering, I wonder if I can tuck this in underneath a swirl. No, it doesn't look right. I think I actually do want it hanging over the edge here. What do you think? Do we want that over the edge? Let's add a, um, let's add a bit of, uh, using up my edges on my, Dimensionals, that's what they're called. I couldn't think they were called there for a second. All right. I feel like it still needs something. It needs some bling or um, something else. The strawberry looks good? Good. Excellent. All right. So I'm going to use, I think, these flirty flamingo ones because they're going to pull all, the, all of the color in this together. So let's have, um, hmm. Let's have one of these actually on the sentiment and then a larger one maybe over here and then another small one up the top. Still needs something, guys. Sorry, it just does. Maybe a bit of sparkle paper or something going across the middle here. I just feel like it needs something. What does it need? No bow. So not, everyone's saying no bow. So, yeah, the straw is going to go off the edge. So I don't really want the straw in here. So leave on white background, pool party. Sorry, say that again. <laughs> Sprinkles. Yeah, we could do. It nearly does look good enough to eat, doesn't it? Nearly. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not unhappy with it. I think it looks cute. I like it. I just feel like it needs something, a bit more pizzazz or something. Wink of Stella on the ice. You know what? I did do that on my first card. I wink of Stella over the um, over the, the uh, swirl and I could do that again. Let me see. I've got two wink of Stellas here and one's a little bit fresher than the other. Uh, uh, this is the only one that's in front of me right now so I will use this one. Oh yeah this one's good. 
I'm just going to give it a squeeze. But we can go over the whole thing and make it sparkly. So that's kind of fun. Winker Stella, for anyone who doesn't know, is like a clear glitter pen. We used to have gold as well, but the the this one, the clear one, is just a sparkle that you add to pretty much anything. You can add it to stamped images. You can add it to your... Um, to your paper like I'm doing here to your cardstock you can make you know everything sparkly and everything have like like a like a sparkly accent and so my suggestion is that if you are ever trying to get yourself up to the $90 mark to get a free celebration item and you're not sure what to add on I usually suggest like dimensionals or um you know adhesive of some kind but you could also add on one of these because that's a really great thing to have in your collection really really good you will use it all the time super super handy and you'll see quite often the girls here in this group say to me towards the end <laughs> they say we could sell or something and that's what we're doing right now all right let me just go over this last little bit and i'm gonna bling it bling it up all right so i don't know if you can see that now can you see the See the sparkle on it? Like it is there. <laughs> it's subtle, but it's nice. Yeah, a child would love this card, wouldn't they? And it's, it would be a great birthday card to give to someone, you know, a little girl or anybody who likes ice cream, really. <laughs> My husband and I, when we were in, uh, we went on a Stampin' Up! trip back in 2019 to the Greek Isles. And afterwards, we got to have a few days in Italy. And we went up to Lake Como, which was my number one bucket list destination. I've wanted to go there all my life. And um, one of the things we did every day was try and find his, he said he was on a mission to find a gelato that he didn't like. <laughs> and um, we didn't find one. We didn't find a gelato that we didn't like. But we, we gave it a good, good old try. We made sure we looked almost every day. I'm going to make my strawberry sparkly too. Now, does anyone have any questions about anything I've done so far? I feel like it's 8.22, so we'll make another quick card. We'll do something else. I want to show you a card I made yesterday. I'm not going to make it tonight, but I was inspired. I'll show you what I was inspired by. If ever you're looking for inspiration, the catalog is a great place to find it. Um, that's These things aren't just catalogs. They're also idea books. And once upon a time, that's what they used to say on the front. The annual catalogs used to say catalog and idea book because it was as much about samples and showing you how to do things as anything else. But there is in here a little scrapbooking set. Where is it? Here it is. It's called Love This Moment and it's on page 36. In fact, it's right next to the ice cream page. It's right across from the ice cream page, which is 37. The second page is this one. And it's got like a, there's a nice big happy, there's a lovely big smile. These are great for scrapbooking pages. Um, they've got a couple of little ideas here of, a, you know, a mini scrapbooking page you could do, but you can also make cards with it. Um, now, if you turn over a couple of pages, I thought I would use that tonight. But if we would turn over a couple of pages on from here, on page 44, see this card, this scrapbooking page here, okay, this one has got this a couple of pictures and it says you are sweet. And then behind that, can you see that it's got like a patchwork pieces because um, that's the name of the dies and some flowers. Okay, so let me quickly grab the set because it's just fabulous. I showed it the other day um, and I can't wait. I'll show you more things with it again. But I've been playing with it because it's just heaps of fun to play with. So all the cards are either three inch, these are in inches, three inch by four inch size. And you can see there's different patterns on it. You can use them in their own right, just as they are on a card. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous. And there's stickers. And you guys have seen me make a couple of cards with these already. Okay, there's, that's a rose gold stickers on there. Absolutely beautiful. And so on. Now there is in this set here then there's six by four ones as well that fit into the six by four now this one here this one that says so many reasons to smile and on the back this here that is what they have used there to do that so i did a card with it because i thought that is so nice all right so i got my patchwork pieces dies which are in the annual catalog and i cut 
that out of the middle here. In fact, I've still got hanging around on the desk here somewhere. I've still got the, the frame that it cut out when I used the patchwork dies. And then all I did was I separated them all out, put them up on dimensionals, and then I used some of those hybrid embossing folders to, you know, put the word hello across the top and added a bit of some gold bling. Very easy card, but it's super nice. I really like it. I really, really like that. I know Spain and all those countries on the Mediterranean know how to make good ice cream and gelato. They really do. They know what they're doing. <laughs> I feel like a real ice cream. Wouldn't that be nice, Cherie? Maybe one day we'll get to have a real ice cream together. That would be lovely. <laughs> all right, you guys. All right, so let's have a quick... I'm not going to use these ones tonight, but I thought I'd really, really quickly use the other set I just showed you on page 36 because I haven't used it yet. I only just got it, and I'm just going to do something quick and easy with it, I thought. So let's see what we can do. I like this card here. I think this is really clever. I really like this. So they've actually done these flowers. They've cut them out. There's no matching guys, so they would have fussy cut those out, and they've added them over the top of the circle. But I've got, let's see what I've got. I've got a piece of pool party, um, half a sheet of A4, and I'm just going to fold that half sheet into half again to make my basic card. And we'll use our bone folder. Maybe I'll find a way to add that bow yet, Monique. I know you're not keen on the bow, but I, I really like the bow. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we've got this here now. Um, let's grab the stamp set. Give me one second. The set is called Love This Moment. And it's really, really cute. I just really like it. I've got stuff all over my desk again. How I managed to find anything is totally beyond me. I'm lucky to find anything at all. All right. Love this moment. What will we use that will go with this, this pool party? I know. I've got an idea. Um, we have that gorgeous celebration paper. And like, as usual, I'm making this up as I go. We've got, this is called Softly Stippled. And there are some pieces in here that have pool party. So let's use, let's use some of them. I'm thinking maybe this one. And I'm going to cut a piece. So this is going to be super fast card, right? This is what you do when you don't have time to make a whole bunch of cards and you, you, have, you need a card in five minutes when you leave the house. So what you do is you cut a piece of paper. I'm going to cut it seven and a half centimetres by 11 and a half centimetres, which is a good size to work with. like so and it's it's going to fit in my card front quite nicely I'm actually wondering whether I want to have hmm I'm thinking 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 all right or I could have also used that beautiful paper but this is a free paper this one this is celebration paper you get it free for a $90 order there's a whole bunch of different things you can get with $90 orders which are cool really cool all right, so I'm thinking, do I want a darker piece around that? Maybe I could use Pool Party or even white, actually, or silver. Hmm, silver would be nice. Let me grab my silver. That would look really cool. So I'm just going to use some of our silver self-adhesive paper. This is an online exclusive paper and the backing peels off. If you rub your fingers over, like just flick your finger over at some point there, there's the backing and you can see it just comes off like that. So really, really cool when it comes to sticking stuff down. I cut from the back so that I won't blunt my blade. This is just a little thing I do. It doesn't say anywhere you have to, but I just feel like it's like sandpaper. So it makes sense that if you did it too much, it would blunt your blade cutting from the other side. So I'm making this 8 by eight by 12 which means it's half a centimetre on each side longer or wider than the first piece that we cut. All right, so I'm actually going to position this. I'm going to pull the backing off it. Flick, flick, flick until it comes. There it goes. 
Da -da 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 -da. And then I'm going to center that as best I can. That looks good. And then this piece is going to go over the top of that. Oh, I must have mismeasured mis that. What did I just do? Let me have a look. It doesn't matter because I'll just cut the other piece slightly smaller, but I think I mis miscut it when I put it in. 12 by 8. No, I miscut this piece. This piece is wrong. So 7.5 is right, and I cut it 12.5 instead of 11.5. That's my problem. Well, that's good. At least I didn't have to cut the other one down. All right, so this one is going to go right there in the center. I mean, if you're really smart and being really frugal, you could cut something out of the middle of this before you use this because we're only using the frame. So if you're really smart, you could do that. But, you know, <laughs> sometimes I don't think of that, and that's okay. All right, let me grab a new sheet of dimensionals because... My other one is finished. Here we go. So one in each corner. Now, when it comes to glimmer paper, only a couple of things work really, really well, and that is um, dimensionals and glue dots stick really well to glimmer paper. But um, other things like um, Tombow, not so much. All right, so I'm going to pop this right here. I like the idea of having a silver edge around that. That looks rather good, doesn't it? All right, and then I'm going to grab I'm going to grab my largest punch, which is the two and three eighths. I don't know whether we still have this in our online store. Let me have a very quick look because I don't expect anyone else to do that, and I can do it really fast. Um, punches. Let's see. So the two and three eighths is the one that it we should still have it because I think it matches the um the monkey set doesn't it I'm having a look to see if it's here hmm I can't see it in there that's interesting well it's in the it's in the big picture at the top so it must be oh there it is I found it two and three eighths all right so yes it is in the it's still available and it's also in the catalogue this one all right so Let's grab a piece of basic white cardstock and I'm going to, I can stamp first and then punch or punch first and then stamp. Do I want smile or happy? I want smile. I think smile is nice. whatever it's going to fit on this one this is block h so you could use it on d as well i think it would probably fit on c as well i think i'll use pretty peacock because i like the idea of moving up to a darker blue green um which is what i think of pretty peacock as and let's get this oh one of my shelves just fell off behind me. Whoop. You know what I just did? I needed to use a mat. See how I've got some extra ink here? I don't want that. So I'm going to turn that over and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to clean off my stamp. And let's try that again. Straight down. Don't rock your stamp, just straight down. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have my punch and I'm going to come in and I want to have this up towards the top just so I've got some room here at the bottom. And there's a number of things we could do with this. Um, I mean, we could put our bow here. Hey, how about that, Monique? <laughs> But no, that's not what I'm planning on doing, although I do really like the bow. I'm very tempted to use it on this card. I'm going to roll my punched shape around so that it actually has an edge to it now. 
And then I'm going to use this stamp set. This, sorry, this stamp from the same stamp set. There are so many cute little words in this set. It's got like great, you can really do a lot with this with the scrapbooking, scrap, scrapbooking stuff. So let's look at the front. Um, so, you know, you can, you've got happy with you or you got happy with you here, but this is happy. And then you could add with you, um, you know, I love this when, you know, you and me, this picture, you can add this to anything, but they're, su they're super, super cute. Love them. All right, let's grab uh, block D and pop this on. And I'm going to ink up my little flower stamp. And I want to have, I want to have this going over the edge here. So my flowers are going over the edge of my, my piece like so. And then you can color them in, of course. So we can add some color. If we wanted to stick to just these kind of colors, that would be okay. We could do that. Um, but I'm thinking maybe we will add a little bit of extra color. So we could use blends, we could use um, aqua painters, or we could use we could use blender pens. Let me have a quick look and see what blender pens I have handy. Um, so I've got lots of them here, and I just don't know. Making sure I've got some that have got. And if you want to test the blender pen, if it's dry or not, run it on the back of your hand. If you feel, if it feels cold or slightly cool when you do it, there's still enough um, glycerin in this to make it work well. But that one, this one's pretty dry, actually. So I'm going to try the next one. Okay, that one's better. I can feel that that one is better. These have been in here for a really long time. So these are way way old i'm thinking maybe some lemon lolly might be nice for the flowers and maybe some lost lagoon for the leaves so let's have a little and with blender pens you can do what we do with the you know by dipping the dipping it in um dipping a block in and using it from the block or you could squeeze them until they make contact with the lid and then use the lid as a palette you can do that as well okay so there's a couple of different ways there that you can use to get the ink picked up and then you just color with them and they're very very softly you don't need a lot of color you can you know just add a bit of color here and there it doesn't have to be perfect uh, whereas I always feel like blends you do need to be not perfect but a lot more closer to perfection than with some other coloring tools like watercolor pencils you don't even need to be a little bit careful you just have to vaguely put the color in the area that you're trying to get into <laughs> but I'm going to have these little guys up here with some yellow so this coloring anytime we stop to color it slows us down so this has suddenly gone from being a really quick card to not being a really quick card because I didn't think about this didn't think about doing this but anyway um and I'm thinking maybe um Lost Lagoon for the leaves now to get your if you're wondering once I've used it for this to get it ready for the next color I just run it off on the paper until it comes clean it's that simple and I sort of I'm turning it around while I use it see now now it's all gone out of there and I can add some color to here and we can start coloring in our leaves so I'm going to grab another one because I feel like this one doesn't really have enough oomph to it. I need some new blender pens. Oh, these one. This one's good. That's better. Sorry, I always go quiet when I colour. Can't help myself. It's just very, it takes all my concentration, my colour. 
when I run classes, this has always been whenever I run classes that, that people um, have to actually do colouring, it's so quiet. You know, normally classes are pretty rowdy affairs and everyone's laughing and talking and chatting and then they have to colour in or cut, particularly colour, um, and they all go super quiet and you, you can hear a pin, a pin drop. All right, that might be enough of that. Refill. Yes, you can refill, um, but I've never bothered. I just I just buy another one because they come in pack of three and they last for ages, so I don't ever worry about Don't ever worry about that. I'm going to go some darker, darker leaves. And I still got one more flower to do, and I was thinking maybe Calypso Coral for that. What do you think? Would Calypso Coral be good? I think that might be the colour I want to use. This one, just gonna just pick up some color from the block and just color in my do <laughs> you get the idea all right so i've probably over colored but anyway it's okay and then what i'm going to do now is pop this with dimensionals right here on the side i could add them in the middle if i wanted to but i'm a big i quite like it being on the side makes it a little bit more interesting i think like this and it does definitely need some bling now because we have we can't go with anything gold because we have the silver here why could i could come back to these and we could use these guys again what else i could use the lemon lolly ones or i could use the the pool party ones or i could use my um pastel gems oh so many choices so many choices this is always a challenge isn't it I've also got some pretty peacock, pretty peacock ones in the Blooming Pearls. Those would look nice. And then we have these little guys with the hearts. Those are super cute. I have festive pearls that are silver, but they're little. Pretty peacock, says Margaret. Is that what PP is? P oh, and Jody said PP as well. I'm assuming that's pretty peacock, not pool party. Which one? Okay, I think you mean pretty peacock because you said pearls and that's what these are. So let's do that. Let's use a pair of scissors or you could use your take your pick tool. just makes it easier to position. And then one of these little guys. I'm going to pop that right on the edge of the piece there. I think pool party is the colour I use the most in these pearls. Now, do we need a ribbon? That is the question. What do we think? Do we like a ribbon? Or is that... If I was going to do a ribbon, I would probably move this one and put the ribbon on this side. But it might be too big. Yeah, that's the one. I think that's right. Oh, I'm dropping stuff everywhere tonight. Goodness me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call that done. Just it's simple, but it gives you a bit of an idea about this stamp set. And it's one that I think a lot of people have missed in the catalogue. I love it. I think it's a fantastic, 
fantastic stamp set and I love all the little words in it that I'm not even using them all. I could, if I wanted to, if I wanted to do that, I could go, um, I've got smile here, so I could do, I could add something, you know, to this. I don't know what exactly, but I could. Never forget to smile. I don't know. That would work maybe. But I love all these little, all these cute little, like almost like little emojis. You've got a hash hashtag and you've got a camera love the little camera very very cute so lots of ideas there edge card base well this is actually i probably wouldn't it's actually my card my entire card base so i think i'll leave it if that's okay and i'm going to call this one finished so these are our cards tonight i don't know what do you think <laughs> Do we like these? It was a bit of fun, right? And it's always nice to craft together. Oh, I'm glad you like them. I like this one. This one I'm not as excited about. I'm not not super keen on that one, but I, I do like this one. I think, and I like the I like the the bubble bath uh, DSP underneath the word. I think that ended up really working well. Okay, you guys. Well, I will be back on Tuesday. If you are watching tonight and you'd like to catch me next time I go live, um, subscribe to the channel because then you get a little notification when I'm going to go live and you'll see if you're on YouTube that that's what I'm doing, uh, which just makes it easier to keep to catch up with me and to this awesome group of ladies and people again next time. <laughs> are you winking, Jody? <laughs> Oh, well, thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to be um, live with my team in the morning. So if, if you're in our group, there's a few girls here from the team. Um, I will be live at 10 o'clock like usual. Um, then Technique Tuesday on Tuesday at 2 o'clock. Um, and then again next weekend. So I look forward to seeing you at 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. Sydney time, Min. Um, so... Um, I'm not sure. Are you half an hour behind us? No, you're an hour and a half, aren't you? Because you don't have daylight saving. Right. All right, you guys. Have a fantastic Sunday evening, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.